Hey guys, welcome to Rachel Woolen Fitness. I'm super excited because this video is actually the first video that I've ever recorded in my new studio space. So this class is actually live on Facebook and I've edited it and put it on YouTube. So you guys are kind of in for a treat because you get to watch this space evolve as I get new equipment. Um, I will be getting a microphone for this space, which I'm super excited about, um, and new cameras and lights and everything. So you guys are in for a real treat. You get to watch me from the beginning, making my way up. So I hope you enjoy this flow and thank you again so, so much for your support. Please subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications for all of the videos so you do not miss anything. Thanks again and namaste. Extend. 
And then place that right hand back on the ground. You shake out that left wrist. All right, let's move it to the other side. So right leg extends, start to rock front to back. Noticing here, if you find that your back is rounding or your belly is kind of plopping towards the floor, press those palms into the floor, hug that belly button in towards your spine. If you have been taking class with me for a while, you know I'm always talking about the neck. If your shoulders are creeping up and your neck is really tense here, Relax those shoulders down. Press the palms into the floor. All of a sudden, your neck doesn't hurt anymore, right? All right, let's lift up those right toes. If you would like, extend that left arm forward. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Hand and knee. Come back onto the ground. You can shake out that right wrist if you need to. Both hands come back to the floor. Tuck those toes. Send the hips up and back. Downward dog. In this down dog, you can pedal up feet. You can wiggle your hips side to side. Big bend of the knees or no bend of the knees. Whatever feels best for you. Your down dog. Hi, Yali. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Let's walk those hands back to meet your feet at the back of your mat. We are forward fold. Wiggle it side to side. If you would like, you can find stillness. You can grab onto those opposite elbows and sway side to side. I am pretending that I am on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Swaying and breathing, the palm trees. All right, release your bind if you have it. Let's walk those hands out into a high plank. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And then step those feet up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Big bend of the knees. Roll up to standing. Nice and slow. Let's reach those arms up and overhead. Grab onto one of your wrists and then take a side bend. Center, grab onto the other right side, then. Ooh, it's more like body and my sore. That's a fun game to play. <laughs> body and my sore. And so right in here, right into this. Pretty much my armpit. Lower my armpit. I don't know why. Alright, come back up center. <laughs> We're gonna get started using our sun salutation. Hey, ready for it? Okay, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's lift up halfway, so tall spine, bring those hands to the top of your thighs. Exhale, fold. Again, reach up halfway. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lift up halfway, so my legs are number three. And exhale, fold. Let's plant the hands, step back to our high plank. Inhale. On your exhale, drop your knees, lower all the way down onto your belly. Bring those hands by your lower ribs. Hug the elbows in towards your chest, and then press your pelvis down into the mat. Keep your gaze towards the floor. Inhale, we'll lift up for baby cobra. Elbows are still bent. Remember that nice long neck. And fold. We'll do two more just like that. Inhale, lift up. Maybe you start to straighten those arms a little bit more. And exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lift up. Maybe the tops of the thighs come all the way down. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale, send it back to down dog. Eliza, I heard that you're loving it. Are you having fun? 
<laughs> Truthfully, that is what movement is all about. I'm not having fun. Definitely just want to call it what you want. Inhale. On the bottom of your exhale, feet meet the hand on the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. And fold. Big bend of the knees, roll on up to standing. Arms reach up and overhead, we'll go right back into it, forward fold. Ooh, we're going to get moving a little bit faster here. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Raise the hand, step or jump. If you're a jumper, make sure that you land with the right elbows. Let's look right out into our chest and run up push up. Sweep on through into your back bend and send it back to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. You can step, jump, float, fly up there. Inhale, lift up halfway. Hold. Big bend of the knees, roll up to standing, arms reach up, palms touch. And forward fold again, right into it. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold. Slam the hands, step or jump back. Even to your back. <laughs> and send it back to down dog. Nice work. Ooh, inhale. Bottom of the exhale. Feet meet the hands, top of the mat. You can jump, float, fly up there. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Big bend of the knees, roll on up to standing. Arms reach up, palms touch. Last time here, forward fold. Say yes, you can do it. A little birdie told me that. And he said, I'm hurting you. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step or jump back. Then in the last arm, I need to back you. Good little kiddo, you in this class. I'm so proud of you guys. Send it back to down dog. We're going to hang out here in down dog. If you would rather, you can come down onto your knees in child's pose. We have about 10 breaths. <laughs> The purpose of holding this is because it's challenging, okay? You're upside down, you just got that heart pumping, but then you get crazy in life or in a workout. What do you have with you that's consistent? You have your breath, okay? This is training your brain and your lungs to continue to push through even when things get challenging, right? You got this. I'm with you here. We're holding it. Feel that back expanding every inhale and every exhale. It's contracting, getting smaller. We have three more breaths. That's it. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And I meant big breath. One more here. Inhale. And bottom of your exhale. Feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, let's lift up halfway. And exhale, hold. Big bend of the knees. Let's roll on up to standing. Reach those arms up and overhead. Bring those palms to touch. And then down to your heart. Take a moment here. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Feel that? Congratulations, you are alive, yay! Maybe get back to the breath if it got away from you. We're going to keep moving here. Keep trucking through this 45 minute class. All right. If you're not at the top of your mat, step to the top of your mat. Let's bring those arms down by our side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hips come down, chair pose. All right, so I have the majority of my weight in my heels. So I can actually lift up my toes here. Not too bad. Do your shoulders look like this? Shrug those shoulders down and away from the ears. Ooh, loosey goosey neck. Okay, we don't need any more stress in our life right now, okay? All right, inhale. Exhale, bring a little bit lower. One more. Inhale. Exhale, take your forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step or jump back. Oh my 
trying to do a push up. Squeeze through. Send it back to down dog. Let's lift up that right leg. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Allow that heel to fall towards the floor. If flipping your dog is in your practice, float that foot down to the floor, flip upside down. We'll be back in three-legged dog, flip back over. Bring that knee into your nose and let's plant that foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee, keep those toes tucked or untuck them. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back or grab onto your opposite elbow. Just make it feel comfortable. If both of those don't feel good, arms up, okay? Perhaps your gaze can look up towards your ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, release the bind. Hands come back down to the ground. Tuck the back toes, let's send it back to down dog. Inhale. On the exhale, optional vinyasa. Shift forward into your high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. As I said, optional. Okay, you don't have to do it. Other leg, lift up. Bend the knee, open up that hip. If wild thing is in your practice, go for it. Lift it upside down. We'll be back in three-legged dog. We'll bring that knee into our nose one time, plant that foot in between the hands, and then drop that back knee. Untuck the toes if you like. Inhale, reach the arms up. Same thing if you'd like to interlace the fingers, go for it. If you interlace them, try to do them the opposite way this time. For all you working at desks, on a computer all day. Yeah, open up with those collarbones. Press the hips forward. Inhale. Exhale, release. Hands come back down to the ground. Tuck the back toes, send it back to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward into high plank. Optional vinyasa, high to low push up. Deep on through. Send back to down dog. Inhale, exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, lift up, and forward fold. Child's, I'm sorry, chair pose, hips come down, reach those arms up. Inhale, exhale to rise, hands come down to your heart. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's keep moving here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hips come down. Chair pose. All right, so you can't really see it here, but my belly, I have that belly button tucked in towards my spine. So I'm not arching my back, okay? And on the big arch, I'm actually slightly tilting my pelvis forward. I'm not tucking it, slightly tilting it, so my abs are engaged. Let's bring those hands to our heart. We're going to work here a little bit. Shrug those shoulders down away from the ears. Get those hips a little bit lower. I'm going to regret this. So we're going to do 10 pulses up. These are optional. If you need to stand up, shake it out. You can rejoin us. Okay? Here we go. Let's do it. We pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Take your forward fold. Woo! Yes. Inhale. Lift up halfway. And exhale. Fold. Plant the hands. Step or jump back. High to low push up. These are optional. If you need to drop the knees, go for it. Let's lift up that right leg. Knee to nose one time. Plant that foot in between the hands. This time, keep this back knee lifted. If you can, rise all up into a lunge. Okay, we're standing up. Up the box. 
So we're trying to straighten this back leg. So if you have it on the ground, that is totally fine. That's a level, right? So level them up here, kind of straighten that back leg. Arms can reach up. Arms can interlace behind you. You can grab onto your elbows, opening up through the collarbone.
optional vinyasa, high to low push up. Back to down dog. Ooh, okay. Oh man, inhale. Exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, chair pose. Hips come down, bring your hands to your heart center. All right, let's start twisting. Round of our sun salutation B. Sorry, I just had to catch my breath. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna bring opposite elbow to opposite side. So you're twisting. So if you can't hook it down, that's okay. You can just stay lifted and you can twist. If not, you hinge forward slightly and you hook it. Take a peek at those knees, make sure the knees are in alignment with each other. Can you open up your arms, maybe? This is a more advanced move. Perhaps taking a half bind within your practice, also an advanced move. Or you can just stay here. Inhale. Stay here for the exhale. Twist, 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 twist. Let's go right to the other side. Don't think about it, just go. Use those palms to press into one another, right? Press in, engage those arms, shrug the shoulders down and away from the ears as you take your twist. What are the knees doing? They should be in alignment with each other. Should be. <laughs> the operative word. Inhale. Stay here with the exhale. Twist, 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 twist. Come back to center. Take your forward fold. Nice. Ooh. You can wiggle it out here. Take a quick sip of water or coffee. <sighs> All right. So we are done with our flow portion of the class. We're going to move on to more standing postures. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to step out wide. Toes are going to turn out. Okay. So your feet are nice and wide. Legs are wide. Toes are turned out. They're not facing forward. And then you're going to sit down. Ooh, right when I do this, I'll add to my hips and like, yeah. All right, we're getting low. And what I like to always say is that on the inside of your inner thigh, you can actually see your big toe. What tends to happen is those knees like to cave in. So open them up, squeeze them nice and wide. Once again, belly lift, nothing in towards your spine. You have a slight tilt of the pelvis forward. Inhale, let's reach the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, let's lower back down. Again, inhale, reach up. And exhale down. One more. Inhale, reach up. And exhale down. Nice. We're going to stay here. Okay? The hands are going to come to your inner thighs. Fingers are reaching um, towards your inner thighs, towards the floor. And one shoulder is going to come forward. We're going to take a little twist here. You're going to use that hand to press that inner thigh open to engage those the opposite way. So I'm pressing with my left hand, looking over my right shoulder and pressing my left inner thigh out. And we'll come back to center. Other side, so right hand is pressing open, looking over my left shoulder. Beautiful. And coming back towards center. We're going to turn those toes so they face forward. We're going to take a forward fold here. So it's a wide leg forward fold. And then from here, we're going to walk those hands out to a wide leg downward dog. It's a very different feeling because those hands are actually on the floor and the feet are on the floor. But you remember when you are in a normal down dog, the heels are slightly lifted. Nice work. Let's walk those hands back. We're going to lunge over to the right and lift up those left toes. So this is where you have to kind of listen to your body and see what you can do. You might stay up here. You might even be up here and have your hand up on the top of your thigh. 
Totally fine. <clears throat> Find what feels good. If you're down on the floor, go ahead and lift up those opposite toes reaching towards the ceiling. You get that inner thigh rotation. Switch to the other side. When you lift up those toes and flex them towards the ceiling, do you feel that? Yes, I feel it. All right, if when you are lunging over, if that heel lifts up, you are too low for your body right now. So come out of it just a little bit, okay? And then you just take your lunge maybe up here. Let's do one more time each side. Every day your body feels different, so I have to tell myself that constantly. <laughs> All right, we're going to heel toes deep until we're about hip distance apart, and then you're going to turn the toes out, and then meet me down here Ooh, in our malasana, our yogi squat. If this is too intense for you, again, elbows can come on the tops of your thighs. If your heels are lifting off of the floor, Maybe you take a step out a little bit wider and you come up even taller. All right, heels should be making contact with the floor when you are down here. If you have a yogi block, you can place that underneath your bum as your seat. Side view. I don't want to see hunching. Please don't collapse your chest, okay? Lift up. Nice work. <clears throat> Pressing those triceps to open up the inner thighs. I always like to sway side to side here, too. Just so you know. <laughs> All right, if you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, if you were nice and low with me here, we're going to lift our hips up to knee height and lower back down. So inhale, exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. Last time here, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. And then go ahead, play it with hands on the floor. Lift your hips up all the way. Heel to the feet together, shake it out. All right, so we're going to come into our half pigeon. That's what we're going to do next. I have a couple of options for you. If you are an advanced yogi and you know what half pigeon is, go ahead and get into it. If you are a little bit newer, you can come down onto your bum and do a seated or a reclined figure four. So you cross opposite ankle on top of your thigh. So you're literally making a figure four. And then you can interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. This is a great starting point. Half pigeon. <clears throat> Left leg is going to extend long behind you. Right knee is bent. And you have your shin almost parallel to the top of your mat. That heel is probably going to be in slightly or a lot. All right, take a look at that back leg. Make sure the toes, heel, ankle, knee, and hip are all in alignment with each other. And then from here, go ahead and take your forward fold. You can stay up if you like. You can come down onto your forearms. Maybe you make a little resting place with your fists. Or some folks even like to extend their arms all the way forward. If you do have any pain or discomfort in your knee, that front knee, I would tell you to opt for the reclined figure four option. But if you do feel a release or like just like a blockade, you know, in your hip, and I always think like to think of it as water going through a creek, and you see like it kind of jumps over the rock. That's where our breath comes into play. Our breath is like that water and it's like slowly moving through the rocks. And if you have a nice deep breath, maybe 
be a lot to move and we start to lose some of our energy. Does that make sense? Please don't be said no. I honestly don't know what that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. I thought it was a really great visual. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch sides. If you are in half pigeon, we're going to go to down dog and switch to down dog. If you go to recline, stay recline and then just cross that opposite angle on top of your thigh. So same setup over here. Make sure that back leg is nice and straight. So angle, knee, hip, all in alignment. And then start to take your forward fold. Yeah. Use that breath. Feel that tightness. Imagine sending that breath to where that tightness. back on up here, onto our hands, send it back to down dog, feel the difference, do you feel that, oh my goodness, <clears throat> all right, if you are on your back, um, come up to a seated position with your legs long in front of you, if you're in down dog, drop the knees, swing the legs around, <clears throat> kind of get you a seated forward fold, Passing. when I sit like this, I just have to like shake my legs out, I don't all right, flex those feet. If you can't get your legs completely straight, that is a okay. All right, sit on bent legs here, so it'll be fine. We're gonna move the extra flesh if you need to underneath your feet. <clears throat> Chest is lifted. Hands are coming down by your side. So we're gonna walk it forward. I'm gonna try to not round the spine to start. So keep that chest nice and lifted, and go where you can, just keeping a nice lifted chest. <clears throat> Hamstring stretch here, hip, back. And then go ahead and release. If you would like to round the spine, grab onto your toes, go for it. And again, I like to sway side to side here. Slowly release the bind or grip of your feet, roll on up. <clears throat> so we're going to cross that right leg over top, bend the knee and plant that foot on the outside of the left leg. Grab onto that thigh, hug it in towards your chest. Don't hunch forward. Keep that chest nice and lifted, okay? Grab onto that thigh, and then you can place the right hand behind you and take it away. But I will encourage you to keep the right foot making contact with the mat the whole time. Don't let it just kind of hang there. Keep it active. Let the breath in here. Exhale, push, 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 push. Not on back, switch side. Right leg extends, left leg crosses over. Same thing, slam that foot down to the floor. Hug that thigh towards your chest and lift up. Left hand behind you, take your twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist, 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 twist. And come on back, release that left leg, and shake it out. Ooh, shake it out a little bit. To lay down on the mat. So make sure you have room behind you. Go ahead and extend long on your mat. Let's reach those arms up and overhead. And 
slowly bring the knees in towards your chest. One knee and then the other. Let's plant those feet on the floor. Make them about hip distance apart. Make sure you can tickle your heels with your fingertips. Okay? Make sure you can feel the entire length of your spine making contact with the mat. Then go ahead and lift up your hips. All right, from here, you can do a lot of variations. You can stay here. If you have a block that you would like to place underneath your hips to help keep your hips up high, go for it. You can interlace the fingers and get those arms underneath your chest. Lift up toward the ceiling. Or just stay as you were. Release your mind of your hands if you have it. Lower your hips to the floor and windshield wiper the legs side to side. We'll do that one more time. So when you're ready, plant those feet again. Go ahead and lift up the hips. Find the variation that suits you this time around. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you breathe. Slowly release your body, lower your hips to the floor, windshield wiper the legs, and then draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug, squeeze, yay! All right, open up the knees. This can be your happy baby today. You can keep the feet nice and low. If you'd like to venture on, flex the feet, reach them up towards the ceiling, grab onto the inside or the outside of the feet, you can rock. Or you can straighten one leg and then the other. Or combo with all of that. Happy baby! <laughs> you do not have to move in your happy baby. If you don't move, it is called a dead bug. It is not as cute as happy baby. Alrighty, if there's anything else that you need to wrap up your practice, now is a great time for that. We will meet in the Shavasana. We have two minutes here together in our Shavasana. So legs are going to come long on the mat. Arms down by your side. Take your time in getting into your final resting pose. If there are other poses that you need for your practice. Physical practice is done. This is actually where our practice begins. Now, resisting those urges to move or fidget or fix our clothes or hair.
Please give yourself a hug, like seriously. Say, I love you, body. I love you, enter your name. I love you, Rachel. <laughs> I know it's silly, but do it. All right, roll over to one side of your body and slowly press your way up to a comfortable seated position. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. Thank you guys, seriously, for joining me today. This video will actually go up on my YouTube channel, Rachel Holden Fitness. There's a bunch of videos up there right now that you can take. There will be so, so many more. I'm super excited, but that is why I have this new studio space so I can create more content that will be available to you on YouTube free of charge. How amazing is that? So please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, Rachel Wolden Fitness. You guys will not be disappointed. Again, thank you so, so much. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend.